Hello everyone, so today I'm going to show you how to make this um, art um, and the sizes that I have it's um, 80 by 120 centimeter wide frame but you guys can make it in a different size and whatever work for you guys but I'm going to show you step by step how I did this um, I'm not a painter, I'm not an artist um, this is, was just something that I wanted something different and I said, you know what, why not sh share with you guys and to see, uh, you know, if you guys are interested to do a similar project, it's, it's possible. Um, so first thing first, um, you know, that's the frame that I have. I put the tape around the frame so it won't be messy once I'm done with the final product. Uh, so I'm just cleaning that a little bit and um, so I already applied the tape um, and now I'm going to start the paint. It's very straightforward. Um, so, you know, I took a little bit of paint and I'm going to apply that on the board. Um, <clears throat> so it's, it's just a two color that I'm using in this whole project. Um, so I'm going to apply the, um, the paint first coat and then later when it's dry and I'm going to do the second uh, coat as well. Um, like I said, guys, I'm not a um, printer. I'm not a. Um, I'm not an artist or anything. I'm just a guy, just you know, ordinary. Um, you know, love to do new things, and you know, this was one of the things that I wanted to do it. Uh, and also, the the print that I have, it's a little bit um, bigger, uh, but um, you know, once I'm you know, done with the, um, the uh, template that I wanted, then I can just cut it the exact size that I want to put it or mount it on the wall. Um, it's very easy, um, you know, um, all of my videos, if I can do it, guys, anybody can do it, it's fun. Um, and it's something that if, you know, if you guys um, hang it on the wall or uh, you know, it's a handmade art wall. It's a handmade um, pictures or um, art. Another word, it's like you did it, and it's it's a it's a, it make you feel good when you see a pictures or art or anything that hanging on your wall, and you said, "Oh, I'm the one did it." So it just it's just a nice feeling, and for that reason, I'm making this video to share with you guys, and hope um, that will help some some people out there. So I'm going to stop talking guys and keep in watching and if you guys like the video, um, do like the video and keep in watching. So pretty easy, like I said, very straightforward. I'm just trying to apply the first coat paint and once it's done that one, then I will just do the second one. So, yeah, keep going and let's see. So the paint that I'm using, it's a bit thicker, but it does the job. I mean, you know, I could put a little bit more um, water in it. And another note, guys, it's a water-based paint, so, you know, I can could put a little water and you know make it a little bit softer but it does work and and the reason I want it to be thicker so that um, you know it will cover the shadow um, so I may I may not need the second coat but the way you look like I think I may require another um, thin coat of paint so let's see I'm also going to share in the description the paint color that I use um, in case if you guys wanted to get the exact same colors. Um, it's a two color, like I said, um, um, the whole, uh, it looked different um, in the panel product, but um, all I use just two different colors. Um, it's a cream and another one, it's a brick color. So I'll put the exact number if you guys are interested to get the same. 
um, color or the same finishing in other words. So we are almost done um, and we are ready for the second step. Um, so I'm just putting the second coat just to make sure it's thicker and so you guys, you know, so on the final product, like there's no shadows or anything. So now we're going to start the second um, step. Um, and for this, uh, all you guys need the bandit and the plastic. Make sure the, I think it's any plastic will work, but I think I prefer a little thicker. And all you need to do, you just, um, uh, as I'm doing it, um, just put it around the brush, the same exact brush, the one that we used earlier. And um, yeah, just put the bandit on it and I will do the job. That's for the texture because we want to have that stone, stony texture. Um, so I'm gonna make it rough so that um, you know it will make the um, the texture more pop up. This is it guys, it'll look good. And now let's move to the next level. So for the next um, process, all I'm going to do, I'm gonna apply the two different um, coat on the, uh, as a sample. And in that way, um, when I'm putting it on, a, um, on the frame, um, it will be uh, not messy. So I'm going to put that one color and I'm going to apply next to it the other one and that way um, I'll give that nice texture for the end product. And that's the second color that I have. I, I need to use a different brush because um, I may use that paint for something else because it's a lot. I don't think that I'm going to need oil, so I'm going to keep the rest. And that's how you guys do it. Pretty easy. It's fun. It took me a few days to, to do all the, um, um, but, you know, um, I didn't get the plastic for the first time and then I went to get a plastic and that took me a while uh, because you guys definitely need the plastic to make sure there's no paints on the floors or anything because that would be just a mess to clean all of that. So that's how I'm gonna mix it up together side by side and that will go straight on the frame um, or art frame or whatever you guys call it. Uh, like so and that's the texture that we're gonna want it to to look for the end product um, so you know you guys can just play with it and the idea is to have those two colors and you know it'll look a rough a stony finishing um, for the end product and, um, and also you guys definitely need to apply the tape on the corners because again it's a paint work and it's always messy so um, because when it's done then you guys can just fold the tape out and in mean, that way it will be a nice and clean um, frame edge so it won't be messy or anything like that.
So I did um, had two code earlier, but even if it's a one code and you can see the shadow, I, I don't think it'll make any difference. Um, but as you guys see right now, I mean, you know, it's uh, um, because I did, um, you know, um, try to mix it up, um, but it it does the job. I mean, it's it's it looked good so far. And the idea is to not have a one color, a big chunk of one in, in one spot. You guys want to make sure to tap it or split it um, in that way because if it's if it's a one chunk in one spot, it will just look not real. Um, because we want to make sure that the end product does look real. It's a bit long video, but I don't want to skip it because it's just fine, you know, um, just to make sure that you guys can see the entire process, how I did it. I'm trying to reach to the corners and, you know, but I will do that with a little brush later. Um, because the brush that I'm using is a bit bigger. But it does the job. And as you guys see, it's popping up. I think it's looked right so far. gonna do um, I'm gonna let it dry uh, for per hour and once that um, done then I'm going to do um, to mark uh, a pre-mark because 
uh, once we put the lining in that way, it will help to, to put those um, cracked texture in it. Um, so here we are, guys. I'm going to do those uh, lining uh, in pencil, so that way I know where my lining going to go. It's just like a stone color, and you guys can make any color or any lining that you guys want it. But in my case, I want those uh, stone look, uh, like I did. And now I'm going to apply the paint. Um, as I said earlier, it's an exact same color, um, two color that I use in this whole process. Um, so I had those um, lined with a pencil, and now I'm going to um, peel it with, um, with the paints. And hopefully it will look great. So, pretty easy, straightforward, nothing too painty. I'm going to skip the video a little bit here uh, because it's getting really longer just to sh make the process a bit quicker. So, here we are, guys. We're still a little bit far away, but we are very close. And so all I'm going to do is just play with those edge and those corners and to make him look real. Um, but so far, it look great. And like I said, I wanted to have those um, stone look um, texture. Um, you know, so it looked like an old um, artist look to it. But again, it's a big thing, um, you know. Um, it's a proud thing, you know, when you have things like that. If you're not an artist, if you're someone like me and wanted to do something, I think it's cool. I really enjoy this whole process. Um, and I will enjoy more once I hang that on my um, wall. It's going to look nice. I'm just trying to clean those um, corners and to make it more look real. But again, I'm not an artist, I'm just winging it. And so far it's looked great. going to, you know, just clean it up and um, it's just, you know, those little corners that are not sharp. But you do want to, you don't want it to be too straight or um, you don't want to make it too um, perfect because the whole point is to look a bit rough and that will give you that ink look and that's the whole idea. Uh, right there, yeah, that's what we need, a little touch-up. Um, so we're almost done, guys. Um, this is it. I hope you guys liked the video. Um, and I'm going to show you the final um, look in a second. Um, and this is it, guys. You know, I mean, it was a little pun project. And uh, I hope you guys learned something from it. And that's the goal is to share different ideas and you know um, a different way of doing things and that's um, all about this channel so this is it guys um, uh, we are done with this and now I'm gonna take the tape um, from the side um, and as you guys see uh, right now I, I took the tape from the corner and it looked much cleaner and sharper and this is what the final product looked like thousand times better 
it looked absolutely amazing. Um, and like I said, guys, you guys definitely wanted to cover those uh, those um, edge, uh, the prime corners, because you guys can paint that one and give them a different color or whatever color that you guys wanted. Or if you guys are gonna cut it in a different size, then that's all fine. But um, pretty much look great. Um, it's look clean. And um, this is it, guys. Um, that's what it looked like. And um, I'm very happy with it. And I hope you guys like it too. Um, and I hope you guys enjoyed the whole process while I was doing this. Um, it was definitely fun, the whole process. So, anywho, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.